Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the histology of the epiglottis. What is epiglottis? Epiglottis is a plate of elastic cartilage covered on both sides by the pericondium and the epithelium. The epiglottis is an unpaired cartilage of the larynx. It projects from the upper margin of the anterior wall of the larynx to the pharynx and it has lingual surface. This is the lingual surface and that is the laryngeal surface. This is the plate of cartilage. This is the elastic cartilage here. Okay, so if we go to the histology of the slide of the epiglottis, we'll find out that it is the central core is formed by the elastic cartilage. On both sides, we have the epithelium lamina propria and we have the glands, the lamina propria mucous gland, serous gland, mixed gland, and also seromucous gland are present here, the lamina propria. We also get a few test part here, maybe on this side, maybe also in the, on the lingual side, this is the laryngeal side. Laryngeal surface is a lingual surface, okay? So identifying point, elastic cartilage. Elastic cartilage contains the chondrocyte, the elastic fiber, type two collagen, and on both sides it is covered by the pericondium. There is the dense irregular connective tissue. There is the pericondrium. And lamina propria has a gland, a mixed gland. It may be mucus, serous or seromucous gland. It may be tubular alveolar gland. Okay, and test bar are the modification of the ectodermal tissue, and these are the receptor for the test. These are the modified epithelial cells that forms the test bar. Test bar is present in the tongue, but not only in the tongue, it is also present in the epiglottis, in the palate, especially soft palate and upper one third of the esophagus. Okay, this, this is a picture of the epiglottis from, from another source. And this is the laryngeal surface. This is the lingual surface. If you go to the previous image, we'll go through that. The lining epithelium on the lingual surface is stratified squamous epithelium here. On the entire lingual surface, it is stratified squamous epithelium. In the upper part of the laryngeal surface, it is still stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium. This is also non keratinized in the lingual surface. And the lower part of the lingual surface, lining epithelium, is the pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium, also called respiratory epithelium. There is the pseudo stratified ciliated columnar epithelium. So we got the lining epithelium on the, on the laryngeal surface. It is lower half, it is lined by the pseudostratified ciliated coronal epithelium, upper half, non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium, lingual surface, non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. And the lamina propria contains glands. We discussed that it may be mucous gland, serous gland, seromucous gland, there may be tubular and pillar gland. We have test bar present on this, this side, may also present on the other side the lingual surface may have also test bar like that of the laryngeal surface okay 
The central part of the epiglottis is formed by the elastic cartilage. This is elastic cartilage. It contains chondrocytes in the lacuna. We have the type 2 collagen and the elastic fibers. And elastic fibers are present in the elastic cartilage that differentiate it from that of the hyaline cartilage. And the pericondrium is not shown here, but in our previous image, we have seen the pericondrium. This is the pericondrium with a dense irregular connective tissue and the elastic fiber are inserted there okay it is present inside the substance of the elastic cartilage but it is also connected to the pericondrium okay so what are the highlights of this slide identifying point with the central core of plate of elastic cartilage that is covered on both surfaces by the epithelium and lamina propria. The epithelium on the lingual surface is non keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. The lower half of the laryngeal surface, it is the pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium. Upper half, the lining epithelium is the stratified squamous non keratinized epithelium gland, mucous gland, serous gland, seromucous gland, lamina propria is a connective tissue and lamina propria contains the gland, the serous gland, mucous gland, seromucous gland. Perichondrium, it has two layers. One is the fibrous layer containing fibroblast, another is the cellular layer containing the chondrocyte and perichondrium covers the cartilage on both surfaces here. Location of elastic cartilage, what are the location? One is epiglottis, another is eustachian tube, another is the external ear. We can remember by E, E, E. In that way, we all can also add the cuneiform cartilage of the larynx. There is also an elastic cartilage. Okay, and that's all about the histology of the epiglottis. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please subscribe my channel. Please support me and share the information with your friend. And have a nice day. Bye now.